Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video, pedals. We need to talk about Kevin and his pedals. So a lot of you, particularly new cyclists, may be a little bit confused about the different type of pedal options that there are available. So I thought I'd go through uh, some of those with you and try and explain how to use them and how best to get the best out of them. So first thing, I want to start with these. Now these are the traditional type of pedals you might have seen if you're let's say over 80 and you remember the early days of cycling and this is what are called toe clips. Okay so your foot would go in here, you would tighten the strap here and your foot would be held to the pedal by means of the clip and the strap. Okay so those are toe clips. They had uh, certain advantages. I mean, they held your foot against the pedal. They would allow you to pull up on the pedal as opposed to just pushing down. But they could occasionally be difficult. I remember going on a holiday to France and waiting at a set of traffic lights with a whole load of uh, leery Frenchmen sitting at a cafe. And uh, I couldn't get my foot out of the pedals and I just toppled over like that. And they laughed like fucking drains to see this Englishman fall off his bike. Anyway, they are what are called pedals with toe clips. Now, another sort of pedal you might see would be this sort of pedal. And this is a combination of a flat pedal and what's called a clipless pedal here. And this is like a mountain bike pedal here, mountain bike cleat that you can see on here. And the advantage of this pedal, and you'd often see these on mountain bikes or perhaps hybrid bikes, is that you could ride on uh, the flat side of the pedal using just your normal shoes, or you could use shoes with cleats and then you could ride on this side of the pedal and that would make it easier. Let's say if you were mountain biking, you had to take your foot off the pedal and put it down on the ground, you could use that side or you could clip in on that side to give you the benefit of using a clipped pedal or a clipless pedal, by the way. And it's called clipless because it is without the toe clip. A little bit confusing because you think, well, I clip in. So surely if I clip in, it can't be clipless, but that refers to the toe clip, as I said here. The other type of pedal which you're going to be probably very familiar with if you're a cyclist, an off-road cyclist, a gravel cyclist, a hybrid cyclist, a mountain bike cyclist, and that's this pedal. And this is called uh, an SPD pedal, which stands for Shimano Pedaling Dynamics because it's made by the company, Japanese company Shimano. And this particular example of the pedal gives you the same clip-in possibility as this pedal, but this is both sides. So you can use either side to clip into the pedal while you're cycling along. Uh, the advantage of these types of pedals is that the cleat in your shoe, and we'll see this later, the cleat in your shoe is recessed and that makes it a lot easier to walk when you are uh, walking with your bike or you have to get off your bike, perhaps you're on a very steep hill and you have to walk up or walk along, something like that. Uh, these also tend, tend, tend to be cheaper than the other type of road pedals, although that can vary depending on the brand and the quality of the pedal itself. And the last pedal that I want to look at is the road pedal, and this is actually a look pedal. But look, uh, who I think were the first people to design this type of pedal, and it was adapted from uh, ski boot bindings, uh, has been um, reproduced, copied, not sure copied is quite the right word, by Shimano and various other companies. So a similar kind of system. And here, this is the uh, clipless pedal and your cleat, which is, tends to be much bigger. You can see there's a bigger space than there was on the, the mountain bike pedal. Uh, your cleat sits proud of the shoe, which we'll see a bit later on. You clip in and these are the kind of traditional roadie pedals, if you like, or professional pedal, if you like. And they are very efficient in terms of cycling. The disadvantage, of course, is that because the cleat stands proud of the shoe, you get that rather strange 
uh, waddling sort of walk that you would have seen cyclists use when they go into the cafe. So that's this happens to be a look pedal. The Shimano pedal is very similar to this, but uses a slightly different type of cleat. So those are the kind of four types of pedals that we're going to look at. I won't show you how I put my foot into this. Well, I might do if I think about having a laugh, but this, as you'll notice, is not on the bike. I do have a bike that has got these pedals on it. I do have a bike that's got these pedals on it. And I don't have a bike that actually has this pedal on it, but I do have a bike that has a flat pedal on it. So I'll be able to show you that. So that's enough in the studio. Now let's get out into the fresh air environment and we can see how the shoes actually fit to the pedals. This is a road pedal and this is the look pedal that you can see here that we saw earlier and this is a pair of very fetching blue Rafa shoes and if I can do it without falling over you will see the cleat on the bottom of my shoe and I put the cleat into the pedal by putting it in and pressing down and you probably would have heard well, I hope you would have heard, sorry, the bike is about to fall over, the telltale click that says my foot is in the pedal. And as you can see, I can pull up on the pedal because the cleat is attached to the shoe. And to get my foot out of the pedal, I twist it to the right like that and it comes out. So if you'd like to see that again, I push it in, press down, get the click, and for those of you who are thinking of using this video to learn about other things, it's always a good idea to push it in until you hear it click. And when you want to get it out, it's a good idea to twist it and then it comes out smoothly. And there you can see your cleat on the bottom of this rather attractive blue Rafa shoe. So that's the look pedal system and the look cleat. And these are very commonly used by roadies and people who want to pretend that they're roadie cyclists, in other words, people like me. So now let's look at the next type of pedal. So the next type of pedal we're going to look at is the Shimano SPD mountain bike type pedals. And you can see on this rather fetching pair of dark green Physic shoes that the cleat is recessed into the sole of the shoe. And that's what makes it a lot easier to walk, as you can imagine, like this. Okay, so if you can imagine me walking, and then to put your foot in the cleat, or rather in the pedal, you do the same thing, you stick it in, push it down, and you'll hear that telltale click. And to take your foot out of the pedal, you twist it to the right hand side. There you can see the cleat again, you can see the pedal here, should we do that again? So I put it in, and I press down, and remember, Putting it in, pressing it down is uh, all be very useful advice for all kinds of activities that you may encounter as an adult or even as a, as a younger person and occasionally even as an older person, but we won't go there. So you take your foot out by twisting it to the right, you put it in and press down and the same thing applies. You can use your foot to pull up on the pedals as well as push down. So that's the Shimano. SPD mountain bike pedals, very common. You see these a lot and they are very good and a very good pedal and a cleat system to use. And the last type of pedal I want to show you is the flat pedal. And here you can see on my Bompton, here is the, sorry, just have to move this stand out of the way. Here is the flat pedal. Now, I'm doing this without shoes, uh, partly because it allows you to see my feet. And uh, you may not know this, but in, a, uh, in an earlier career, uh, in my younger days, up until about three years ago, uh, I was actually a foot model and uh, appeared in a number of foot fetish magazines and in fact uh, held the title of Mr. Foot um, between uh, 1987 and... 2022, um, when I was then beaten by a, a much younger Michael Gove, who has a, uh, a kind of side career as another foot model. Anyway, there is my foot. This video is not about my foot history or background, uh, but you can see how I can rest it 
on a normal flat pedal, I mean, you wouldn't normally ride your bicycle without shoes, but it shows that on a flat pedal without cleats, you can do so. So this is actually an MKS pedal. It's a rather nice pedal. Normally I would wear uh, perhaps ordinary shoes or I would wear uh, I could wear a pair of SPD cycling shoes because the cleat is uh, uh, recessed into the sole, as you saw, you can ride on these type of flat pedals, or I could just use trainers or perhaps a pair of brogues, semi-brogues, uh, UGG boots, uh, high-heeled shoes, uh, really any type of shoes, desert boots, uh, sketchers, what other types of shoes are there, Mi Michael Jordan trainers, um, cowboy boots, um, flip-flops, uh, anyway, you get the idea. Whatever your particular shoe style is, you can use it to ride on a bicycle with flat pedals. And there we are, we've seen the various types of pedal systems available. Uh, I hope I've given you enough information to make uh, a kind of informed choice of your own, and uh, I hope it improves and uh, you enjoy your cycling. So uh, I'd like to thank you for watching these this video. If I can sort of get down here, perhaps get into the screen. Uh, I'd like to thank you. As you know, you can uh, like my videos. If you like my videos, you can give me a thumbs up. If you don't like my videos, do you want me to get even further down? Uh, if you don't like my videos, remember, I'm afraid the thumbs down button uh, no longer works on my videos after I have had it disabled. But if you hit the notification bell, if you subscribe, if you tell your friends, uh, you can be bored to tears by the next sequence of videos that I may one day produce for your delectation. So thanks for watching and see you next time. It's a hot day today. Blimey, I'm sweating like a pig. Anyway, take care.